Welcome back to Elgin High's very own Maroon Buzz Weekly. April is a significant month in many ways. Which is the national month of April, you might ask? April is a month of various national celebrations, including... Stress Awareness Month. Let us take care of our mental health and enjoy the beautiful weather. National Poetry Month. Challenge yourself to write a poem this month. Autism Acceptance Month. Let's embrace diversity and treat everyone with kindness and acceptance. National Garden Month. Let's take care of our planet Earth for Earth Day on April 22nd and every day. National Volunteer Month. Volunteer to help those in need. National Food Month. Celebrate food in all languages. National Diversity Month. Let's appreciate and celebrate all of our differences. And let's remember these wise words from Dr. Seuss. Be kind to the wishers who haven't got wishes. Be kind to fishers who haven't got fish. Be kind to beginners who haven't got ends. Be kind to strangers who haven't got friends. Be kind to walkers who haven't a shoe. Be kind to talkers who haven't a clue. Be kind to outsiders and insiders too. Be kind to the kind kept confined in the zoo. Be kind in your mind and in all that you do. And you'll find that mankind can be kind to you too. Last week, we visited the art room, and today, if you couldn't tell, we're in the culinary room. In honor of National Food Month, we're recording in the culinary kitchen, and we're excited to talk to one of the culinary teachers, Mrs. Schubert. Mrs. Schubert, how are you today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. So please, tell us about your culinary program here at Elgin High. Well, the culinary at Elgin High School is four levels. If you start as a freshman in introduction to culinary, you can continue through your four years of um, high school, and the last year as a senior, you'll be running the restaurant. When you run the restaurant, you will serve lunch to the teachers, as well as um, run some other programs that request um, catering, as the year goes on. You also will graduate with your food safety and sanitation license. There are a lot of YouTube videos about foods that are good for you and those we should stay away from, such as margarine and sugar substances. What do you have to say about that? I have to say that if you're going to eat um, those items like margarine and sugar substances, you should just eat butter and you should just eat real sugar because those are the real products and also, of course, in moderation. So I'm hearing some talks about real food and fake food that we've been eating. How do you feel about that? So when you talk about real food versus um, not real food or fake food, uh, real food is includes the ingredients that you can pronounce and that you most of the times have at home. So when we cook here in the kitchen with the students, they know exactly what is in each recipe. So therefore, it's real food. There's no preservatives in these foods. So when they say a fake food, a lot of times food is now chemically made in a lab and they put certain chemicals in it so that your brain gets a great feeling um, and then you want to eat more, like when you can't stop eating a bag of chips. <laughs> so what are your students um, cooking this week? Well, I'm going to stay in the restaurant. First of all, they're testing a menu for next week, so teachers be ready for that. But in my two classes, I teach Introduction to Culinary and Advanced Culinary. We cooked carrot cake in intro and uh, Monte Cristo's in level three. So here's the carrot cake, and then the Monte Cristo sandwich is ham and turkey and melted Swiss cheese, and then you dip it into a batter, and then it's deep fried. Is <laughs> it <laughs> Yes, oh, and I brought a sample for each of you to try. Oh, nice. Thank, nice. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Go ahead. Oh, and I have. Wait, wait. Let me take a bite of here. Ooh. Those are all made by the students. I did not make them. <laughs> so they make them, and I asked for samples, and they gave wow. them to me for you guys. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The students made this. The frosting is really good, right? Yeah. 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 Oh, how's the sandwich? It's good, actually. It's surprising. 
Oh, okay. Hamming ham and cheese. I have never tried this um, recipe before. Is it it's a baking sugar? It's a sweet and savory Spicy? dish, right? Oh. So it's ham and turkey and Swiss cheese, and then you dunk it in batter and deep fry it and sprinkle mm -hmm. it with powdered sugar, and you can serve it with syrup or blackberry jam. Wow. <laughs> it's like dessert and dinner all at the same time. <laughs> That's super interesting. Yeah. It's called a Monte Cristo. So what are some big highlights that happen over the year for students in these different classes? Is this like the big project that they're working towards, or? Um, in the intro, we've done, we're in the vegetable unit now, so I'm trying to show them how they can eat vegetables, but it still be fun and tasty, and then get all their nutrients as well. And then in the level three catering kids, um, we're just doing sandwiches, so we're doing a patty melt tomorrow, so they get to try different things. But we've done, um, we catered the parent-teacher conferences twice. Oh. So that was a pretty good highlight. Yeah, very impressive. Huh. Mm, as you can see, it's so good, I ate up every bite. <laughs> <laughs> wow, it smells so good in here. If you're looking for any fun elective to join next year, I think you guys should join culinary. It sounds super fun. Well, thank you for being here today with us, Ms. Schubert. We love the food. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Come down anytime. Mmm. Well, as you can see, I'm having seconds, clearly. But did you know that our school has a newspaper? Scan the QR codes posted around the school to access this special edition of The Mirror. The newspaper team has worked diligently, so check it out. Attention! It's officially time for One Acts. One Acts are single scene shows directed by our very own Drama Maroon seniors. Come see these four amazing shows on April 24th and April 25th. More information to come, so be on the lookout. Psst. Come see our drama ruins shine, including Buzz Reporters, Amelia Pliwa, and Santiago Salas. Mm. Amazing, I have to tell you. And a special congratulations to Badminton Seniors. It was their senior night yesterday. And of these, it includes three of our very own Buzz Reporters, Araceli Atempa, Emily Vega, and Allison Bayo. Stay tuned for next week. We're going to be in the child development room. But until then, I'm going to be finishing this cake.